You see it, okay? So good to see you. Amen. Thank you for the cross, Lord. Thank you for the price you pay. Very now my sin and shame, in love you came and gave amazing grace. Thank you for this love, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you for the nail pierced hand. Wash me in your cleansing blood. Now all I know, your forgiveness and embrace. Worthy is the Lamb. Seated on the throne. We crown. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. So what this, what we'll do now, um, we have some announcements, this, uh, and then we'll take up some prayer requests here. And I uh, want the church to pray um, pray um, tonight for um, our country tonight. Amen. That's some of the things I got on my list. So pray for our country. Pray that the Lord will give wisdom to those who are in office to make the right decisions, not to um, rush through some $3.5 trillion dollar, um, budget uh, uh, reconciliation package to mess, up, mess the country up. So pray pray to God to give these people wisdom. Somebody say amen. amen. And uh, getting our country farther and farther in debt. Okay? So pray for the leaders. Okay? And uh, um, there's something you can learn, um, people, not to you want to just continue to be in debt. You don't want to be in debt. Owing nobody. Bible says owing no, owing no man. Amen? You don't want to be just owing people. Man coming after you. Somebody say man. So pray for um, our country. The leaders, they, they just build them old debt. Borrowing money from China. It's not what we want to be a slave to China. So pray for our country tonight. And then I want you to pray um, for our pastor at, uh, at the Fort Worth Baptist Temple. Okay. He's preaching tonight at the Fort Worth Baptist Temple there in um, Fort Worth, Texas. Okay. So pray the Lord to bless that meeting there. Pray that God will use pastors tonight in a great way there. Uh, and uh, I think they, they, they're in Midwest time, so they're probably about an hour behind us. There's some trees. Midwest time, most like Texas. I can't think Texas is about an hour. I think Texas is about a, two or two hours. Really? I don't, I don't know if they're two. 
But uh, he'd be preaching tonight there at Fort Worth Baptist Temple. Pray to God will bless Pastor Barnett and fill the Spirit of God and God to use him there in a great way there at Pastor Smith Church tonight. Pastor Smith there. Uh, Fort, Worth, pretty, Fort Worth pretty close to Dallas, right? Pretty close to Dallas, Texas. So pray to God will use him tonight in a great way there in that church there tonight. Pray for um, um, our soul winning efforts tomorrow night uh, as we go soul winning. And uh, we'll meet here at our regular time. Uh, for soul winning tomorrow night by the grace of God and we we'll go out and knock on some doors um, and tell some folks about Jesus thank you, for, thank you for y'all who went last week and God blessed us we had a wonderful week last week uh, a number of people got saved and uh, pray to God to bless us uh, this week too as well as we go knock on door to get the word of God out so pray to God bless soul winning efforts on tomorrow night and uh, pray that go well there pray for um, pray for um, our um, students started back to school. I think some started back to school this week. And for well, the public schools, I think some of the public schools started back this week. Some, some of them did. Pray for them there and uh, pray for the ones that are trying to get their, everything worked out for college. Um, God will help them get everything worked out, get the college stuff in there. And uh, pray the Lord to bless that there. Um, and also um, pray for um, my family, uh, uh, my family here in Knoxville. Amen. And uh, pray for the family there in Atlanta there. Pray for loved ones there. God will help them. And uh, my mother there. Thank you that God helped her find her money there. I know she was looking for some. I sent her some money for a birthday. And she couldn't find, she couldn't find the money. The devil. I said, what's going on? And I sent it uh, express. And I said, oh, my goodness. Why did you can't find it? the money? I said, what in the envelope is big as ever. How is it not? You not see? It? And I got. I looked on. I looked online, and I saw that the uh, that the letter, the the envelope was delivered. It was delivered. I said, "Mama, I'm looking here on the computer here, and it says delivered." She said, "It ain't in there. It's not there." <laughs> and so, I um, my wife called the called the mail, the post office, Mar Mars Brown College over there, where she was. It Mars Brown College. Yeah, but the male, male person at Mars Brown College, and they went over there and said, uh, to call my wife, said, ma'am, the envelope right there in the mailbox. And I said, mama, you got to go in there and put your hand in there. You got to reach in there. And so she went down there, she put her hand in there, and she pulled it out. <laughs> and then she called, me back, called us back and said, hey, they just put that in there. No, see. They just put it in there. No, she just didn't put her hand in there. Somebody say, it's a pray, pray for mama. Amen. She's struggling. But thank God she got a birthday gift and she's happy. Somebody say, amen. So thank God for that. So pray for my mom. Pray for my sister there too there. Pray for my mother-in-law. God will help them. And my father-in-law help them there up in the age there. Lord will help them. And uh, pray for my uh, all my relatives there. All my relatives there in Atlanta there. God will help them there. We had a number of them come up here about a couple weeks ago. We had a wonderful time to see them. So good to see many of them. So God, pray to God to help them. Help, pray for Kimberly, uh, Brother Dave there in uh, New Jersey. God to help them. Brother Dave and Kimberly, pray for Christiana. Christiana just started a new job there. So pray for Christiana. God to give her wisdom. And she's working with Brother Tim now on the job there. And Brother Tim is training her. Brother Tim is training his sister and uh, Christiana. So pray God help her. Lord, to give her wisdom there on, on, on her job there. So thank God, Brother Tim, I pray that she does well. She, she uh, uh, does a good job. Amen. So pray for Christiana does a good job. She's been asking Brother Tim a lot of questions today, a lot of questions, a lot of questions. You know about you, 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 you like to be called her the prosecutor. She just, she has a lot of questions, a lot of questions. Amen. She's trying to, she's a perfectionist. Amen. So pray for Christiana, Lord, to help her and uh, Brother Gregory, bless them and uh, help them in their and there, uh, pray to God to bless them in a wonderful way. Amen. Okay, so what I'm going to do is give you an opportunity here. Um, you might have a prayer request, testimony here uh, that you want to share with uh, the church. Uh, testimony, sharing what God has done. And then you might have a prayer request that you want us, something that you want the church to pray about. Okay, so we'll move. We'll start here to my right here. Sister Patrice there, you, uh, you got a prayer request there? Testimony there? Amen. Amen. 
Yeah, I believe Pastor made it. I haven't heard anything differently. I believe he made it safer by the grace of God. Amen. Sunday school class, okay. Right, right. Right. This Delta variant. Pray to God to help protect people from all this. And young people, it's affecting a lot of young people. So pray to God to uh, just give help and protect people from getting this virus stuff. Amen? Let's pray to God for help for that. That's good. Amen. Anything else? Church and so winning. Okay, give him. Brother Tim, don't knock me down. What you got there, Brother Tim? What you want to pray for patient work with you, you? <laughs> Amen. Go ahead. Oh, you had another visitor? Oh, okay, which one? Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, where, where, where he live at? Wow, praise the Lord. There was, amen. There was your visitor last this Sunday? Amen. Well, amen. You and Brother Mar went and got him. Praise the Lord. Amen. Brother, 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 brother. Oh, who, who? Jamar. Okay, I thought Brother Mar. Okay, Jamar. Okay, you and Jamar, who else? You and Jamal racking them up. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Good job, guys. Good job. Amen. Hey, praise the Lord. I thought you said Brother Mark. We got to get Brother Mark. He got to rack up some with you, too. Somebody say amen. <laughs> he got to rack up some. <laughs> Tag Brother Mark along. All right. Okay. Anything any, uh, else, Brother Tim? They never small. Never small. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank the Lord. Amen, brother. Amen. When the time you, uh, you you get something done, you better thank God for. It. Amen. <laughs> okay. I know. I know. I know that feeling. Somebody say, "Amen." All right. Uh, anybody else here to my right here? Prayer request, testimony. Amen. So the rule. Okay, pray for Sister Ruth Health and pray for her family. Amen. We sure will, Sister Ruth. We definitely will pray for your health and pray for your family. Ask the Lord to help you there. Amen. We definitely will pray. All right, anybody else to my right here? Girls? Yeah, you're doing a lot of smiling there, but I, I guess. <laughs> wow. Amen. So you got wet now? Got wet? Amen. We're praising one of short teeth. Amen. Well, thank God for bracing. Somebody say amen. Never wrong with bracing. Somebody say amen. I'll tell you what. Better thank God for them. Amen. Make your smile look better. Amen. If you do right with them. Somebody say amen. If you do right with them. Amen. But it make your smile look much better. So thank God for it. Amen. It's a temporary thing you got to go through but it help you out it'll straighten some things out somebody say amen amen all right god bless you amen god bless you sister shy amen she don't like them bracelets all right anybody else here right here in my center here in the center here go ahead sister joy oh my buddy got a oh no Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. 
Hey, man. Boy, time flies. Goodness gracious, four years already? Oh, my soul. Congratulations, Joy and LaRon. Congratulations to you all. Amen. Uh, that's a blessing. And just, that's just such an encouragement to hear that. And uh, we're definitely going to pray for uh, Lorenzo and Ava that God will help them to feel better. I hate to see them. I hate to see little ones uh, not feeling good like that, don't you? You hate to, you hate to see them get sick. So definitely going to be praying for them that they, that they get better. I, you like to see that excitement, but then you like to see them get down. They, you know, they, they don't have that energy like they usually have. So we'll definitely be praying for them. Pray for the kids there. Anybody else here in my center here, prayer request, testimony here, right here in my center here. Anybody else? All right. Prayer request, testimony here. You fellas ought to have some testimonies and some prayer requests. Amen. You ought to have some. Amen. You ought to have some praying about something. Amen. Pray for these guys. Amen. All right. Going here to my left here. Any prayer requests and testimony. Amen. To my left. To my left here. Brother Jeff. Amen. Brother Jeff. Good to see you, Brother Jeff. Amen. Like that nice haircut you got there. Yeah, I like that. I gotta get me one cut like that. I gotta get my cut like that. Amen. That's yeah, you got it. You got to cut nice. Yeah. Amen. Okay. Pray for Brother Jeff family and his health as well. Okay. All right. Anybody else here? Pray for quick sister Natalie. Mm-hmm. Yes, Sister Lillian, the baby Lillian. Okay, I thought you were talking about. Okay, we got a we got another Lillian just coming right here. We, <laughs> we ain't see her in a while. We, we, we ain't see her in a while neither. <laughs> Go ahead, Sister. Yes. Mm hmm. Pray for the world. You know, we need to pray that they give them wisdom about these masks and stuff. I I, I don't know. Um, they uh, really, um, they just really try to make this thing in a way where, you know, they're just trying to force everything on you. They're trying to just control. I just really trying to trying to control us. So I just just pray for them to God give them wisdom and don't say science when some of this stuff is not backing it up. You know, because CDC is is really embarrassing themselves and. Mhm. Wow, wow. Mhm. Yeah, it's just um, really strange. Um, I just, I think we need to be cautioned, but we need to just not to be mandating all these things. And um, I think the percentage, I think I heard like it's point zero zero chance of for like these little kids are really getting. I mean, point zero something. I mean, that's that mean that's like you, you more likely get struck by lightning than these little kids are getting. So we just got to really pray to God to give the give these politicians wisdom of what they're doing amen and i just bother me that cdc I, I want our company it's like we even this I, hate that, I work for cdc but i want them to be transparent away with real data and not just being political pushed you know so, so i think a lot of things we're just being politically pushed not just using real data because they were saying they were down in florida the numbers are very high whatever and they was it wasn't really, it wasn't real data. They had to come back and retract some things and apologize to what was going on in Florida. So we just need to pray 
God, give our leaders the wisdom that they need to make the right decisions. Amen? That's what we need to pray, okay? And I just want these young people to go to school. I hate to see them just, I'd like to see the smiles on, on people's faces. And, then, you know, just, just very discouraging what's going on. So, anyway, um, anybody else over here to my left here, prayer request, okay? All right, Natalia. Pray for school. Stay on top of school. Amen. Praying for all of you young people when you're going back to school this year. Praying that y'all will do well. Okay. Time go by so fast. It looks like Lester Joy just said she's now anniversary four years. Amen. Go by so fast. And you got to do your best now. You don't know how long you got. Amen. Give it everything you got, young people. Don't waste your time. Okay. Anybody else? Work hard. Anybody else? So to my left here. Okay, amen. So we're going to go ahead and pray here, if we will, and uh, pray for some of these things here. And uh, I want you to just bow your head and right there in your seat there, okay? And uh, we'll go ahead and pray about some of these things here and ask the Lord to help us there. Pray for Brother Chris there and uh, pray God help him. And maybe we can get him tomorrow night. Uh, so when he, like he got some things uh, mixed up a little bit there. So let's pray to God to help him, Brother Chris there with his health and everything too as well and uh brother afric called me today too he wanted to come there pray for him uh he said he'll see us sunday night he didn't want to come sunday morning i said i'll come get you sunday morning he said make that sunday night so you pray for brother afric there amen god will help him amen and uh help him to he wants to come so let's go to the lord in prayer father we thank you lord jesus we can pray tonight lord and we bring these things before you, Lord. We do pray for our country tonight, Lord, and we pray a special prayer, dear God, for our leaders and our government, dear Lord. You please give them the wisdom, dear Lord. We're praying about, Lord, this $3.5 trillion bill that they're trying to pass in Congress, dear Lord. It's like it got passed in the Senate yesterday, and now it's going to Congress, dear Lord. But, Father, it's more debt packed on more debt. And, God, I pray you please give these leaders wisdom, Lord, not to. These are older people that are making these decisions, dear Lord. They're about to die. They didn't got much long, but dear Lord, they're going to leave all this debt on us, on, on these young people. We don't live our lives, dear God, but now they putting all this debt on, on these young people, dear God. And just, let us pray, God, you please give these leaders wisdom, these dinosaurs that's in, 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 in Congress. They need, they need help and give them wisdom to make the right decisions, dear Lord. We'll thank you for that. Lord, we pray, Father, for, Lord, we pray, Lord, for Pastor Barnett tonight, Lord, you please help him. Our pastor, dear Lord, thank you, Father, for giving him safety, dear Lord, to Fort Worth, Texas. And, dear God, we pray now you bless him now, that you use him, dear God, to be a blessing to the Fort Worth Baptist Temple there in Fort Worth, Texas. So give him wisdom, fill him the Holy Spirit, give him wisdom to preach the word of God. May the fresh oil of the Holy Ghost be upon him as he preaches tonight, Lord. And may you bless him in a special way and those dear people there. And, Lord, we pray for safety, Lord, for pastor when he returns. He pulled the return tomorrow night. I pray there'd be no hindrances, dear Lord, of the planes and uh, people acting crazy on the plane. Just give them safety, Lord. We've seen so much foolishness on planes today. And I just pray that you please, that people just be, be calm. People get on there with attitude, get on there with tempers and drinking. And so, Father, give them a safe trip back, and we'll thank you for that, Lord. Father, we pray that you please help the students going to college this year, those who are going to the public school system, that you help them, give them wisdom, keep them from sin. Help them have a great school year. Help them to work hard, Lord. Help them to read their Bibles and put Jesus first so they may have a successful school year. I pray, God, for the soul winners, Lord, um, efforts tomorrow night. I pray that you please help uh, my uh, help the people here, um, loved ones in Atlanta, um, my family here in Knoxville. Help Christiana, you, you, uh, Christiana, my daughter there, and her husband there. And pray that you please help Tim, help Mark, dear Lord. I pray, Father, for that you please help Gregory, help my wife, bless them tonight, Lord, and believe with Sister uh, Brother Tim, and bless them, dear Lord. Just help my family here in Knoxville. Did help the ones that in Atlanta, did you please help them, help Kimberly and Dave in New Jersey, um, and you bless them, dear Lord, tonight, too, as well. And we just pray you please help my mom, dear Lord, give her help and strength, too, as well. My sister, help her. God, we pray, Lord, that you will um, help uh, Sister Tree's praying for, uh, she's praying for uh, her Sunday school class, Delta variant, dear Lord, you please protect us from the Delta variant and help young people protect us from the Delta variant. 
and she's praying that you just uh, help her have patience and and give her wisdom and all that she does. I pray God, Brother Tim, bless him, dear Lord, praying for his projects that he's working on, giving wisdom to projects, help him do well. Thank you, Father, giving the patience working with Christiana on these, uh, her new job and giving wisdom, work with her. And I pray that she do well and give Tim the wisdom to teach her what she needs to know. And dear God, we pray, Lord, for Sister Ruth, she's praying for her family and loved ones there. I pray for her health. Touch her health tonight, Lord. Pray for loved ones in Alabama, relatives here. Pray for Cassandra Lope in Boston and this be with Stephen. I pray for her family. Bless her tonight, Lord. Be with Sister Ruth. And dear God, I do pray that you will help uh, Sister Barnett tonight. Bless her tonight, Lord, and give her grace with Pastor out of town. Uh, may you help her, Lord, with the kids and help her with uh, Elijah and Shy Shy at home and bless them, dear Lord. I pray for JT and uh, just help all those here in local in Knoxville. Pray, Lord, for Sister George. Pray for Lorenzo and Ava. Um, they're not feeling well tonight, Lord. They're under weather. I pray you touch their bodies. I pray you heal them, dear Lord, and just help them get well. Remove the fever, whatever it may be, and just the colds that's come upon them. Help them to get better, dear Lord. I pray, Father, that you please help the kids uh, and bless uh, Joe and Lebron. A wonderful anniversary, Lord. I thank you that you blessed them, given four years. Thank you so much, dear Lord. Give them many more years in the future, dear Lord. And God, I pray for Brother Jeff. I pray for his family. I pray for his health. So the Natalie, Lord, she praying for her family, her health, Lord, the kids in school, little Lillian, Lillian, and pray, Lord, for children with this Delta variant. And uh, just please just protect all our kids from this Delta variant, dear Lord, that's going on. And dear God, we'll thank you for that, Lord. So, God, we praise you and thank you. Natalia, Lord, praying that you do good in school and help all the kids, dear Lord, to all do good, help them to work hard. And God, we'll thank you for that, Jesus, of what you're going to do. So thank you. We can spend time with you tonight. And I pray that you meet with us, uh, meet with us, Lord, tonight in a great way. And uh, we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Amen. Wonderful. Amen. So wonderful. And uh, continue to pray about these things and take you home there and pray about these things here, if you will. Okay. All right. What I want you to do, if you can, is um, grab your summer. Good to see you, Sandy. Just come you, just in time. Go right to that piano there. Amen. Just in time. Amen. Hey. Just in time. Amen. Go to the piano, sister sing. So good to see you sing. All right. And so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll sing a song here tonight. And uh, turn with me to page um, uh, one. Before I. Preach tonight. Sister Joy, if you, are you able to, able, to, able to sing a solo for us? Okay. And me, you get with Christiana. Not Christiana. <laughs> get with, I'm losing it. Get with sister Cena there. Uh, Sing it uh, on the song you want to sing there. But turn to page uh, 135, 135, I Am Resolved. And uh, we'll sing here the first, second, third, and for all four verses of this song here. 135, I Am Resolved. Amen. Amen. I am resolved no longer to linger, charmed by the world delight. Things that are higher, things that are nobler, these have alert my sight. I will, hasting to him, hasting so glad and free. Jesus, great is highest, I will come to thee. I am resolved to go to the Savior, leaving my sin and strife. He is the true one, he is the just one, he has the words of life. I will, hasting to him, hasting so glad and free. Jesus, great is highest, I will come to thee. I am resolved to enter the kingdom, leaving the paths of sin. Friends may oppose me, foes may beset me, still will I enter in. I will, hasting to him, hasting so glad and free. Jesus, Great is highest, I will come to thee. Amen, amen, amen. You may be seated, and we're going to get ready to take up our offering this time. I forgot about that, and uh, we're ready to take up the offering. Um, let me have uh, Brother Tim, um, and uh, let's see here, and uh, Brother Mark, you guys go in the back there, and we're going to take up the offering this time. There should be some envelopes in front of you there, 
and uh, you, you want to use that if you will. And um, and um, and uh, brother Tim and brother Mark, and what you do, you just come from the front, fellows there, and then up here, and we'll just put the um, offering up here. So. Um, uh, um, rem reminder is uh, don't forget about the um, the um, Neil Meiger project. Okay, we want to continue to give to that. I want to try to encourage you to, but that's oh, that's above your tithe though. Just don't just I'm going to just put some in the Neil Meyer project. You know, I mean, make sure you get tithe first. Okay, I'm not saying you could be giving the Neil Meyer project tonight, but you already gave your tithe. Okay, I'm just saying to make sure you you know you be faithful in your tithing. And then, you know, uh, uh, above your tithe, you give to the Neil Meiger Project, okay? And, uh, but we got some great things in, in store, uh, things that we're planning. Uh, hopefully we can, we both get the, um, the pavement out here repaved. Um, and then also, not only that, we're, we're trying to go, we're talking about getting, replacing all these windows here in the building here. You know, these, build, these, these windows have been here for years and uh but we're moving we're going to put by the grace of god put brand new windows and i mean good windows and, and keep, probably keep the more air in better and we'll probably keep the heat in you know and when it get cold in the winter we it'd be more um energy efficient so so pray to god will help us with that there and uh and also we talk about doing a drop ceiling here with the uh with the ceiling here and so just pray about those things there but give continue to give and i'm telling you, you can never give the lord i want to encourage you to do that um, to give to that there and then um, don't forget about missions okay we support missionaries around here uh, those go to countries that we cannot go to we, we would never go to um, uh, on, on this side of heaven and uh, but you know but there's people go, that leave this country and go somewhere that we won't go but so give the missions you get a chance okay I try to give the missions you know um, uh, every two weeks you know I try to give the missions I try to give the missions and and uh, because I, I want to support those who are going leaving our country and to take the gospel, amen. And so um, do that if you can. And we're going to go ahead and pray, okay, at this time. If you want to use your debit card or you want to use your credit card and text give, um, we got we we got it now. Where well, Pastor got it now, you can go in and Tim can help you now. You can put your stuff and do it yourself, okay. You can do it yourself now. So you can just go in there. Like I go back there and Tim just. He, I just put my stuff in. He just watch it, okay? And so you can do it yourself. So that way, Tim don't have to, have to be, you know, he's just a monitor back there, amen? And so just pray the Lord to bless that. And uh, if you want to give that way, just meet Tim in the back there, okay? Let's go to the Lord in prayer and ask God blessing on the giving at this time. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, we can give tonight, Lord. Thank you for the offering. Um, I pray that you provide, Lord, our every need. Dear Jesus, bless the church, dear Lord. And uh, God, I just pray you help us, Lord, in a special way. And uh, beat our knees in Christ's name. We pray, Amen. 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 Sweet hour of prayer. Amen. All right. If you got your Bible there, okay. And uh, I'm going to read the scriptures here the, of the text verse tonight. And then, then I'm going to have Sister Joy come. And uh, y'all going to sing. Uh, okay. Oh, thank you, Sandy. Thank you. We're glad, we're glad to take that time. Oh, smart, amen. <laughs> okay. Amen. Amen. All right. So, see. Okay. So, uh, uh, turning your, if you will, turning your Bible to the Psalms. Okay. Everybody stand, if you will. Psalms and uh, chapter 22 and uh, we're going to read here um, Psalms 22 
It's just hurting here. Amen. Psalms 22. Let me give you the verse here. And I break verse 23 here. Let me get here. I got to watch the way I'll be writing. Come on and say amen. Psalms 22. All right, so anyway, let's um, tell you what, that one, um, let's just read this whole psalm here, okay, we, we will, there's Psalm 22, okay, and I'll begin here in Psalm 22, and uh, we'll get down to our text verse here, amen, so let's read this verse, let's read here if we can, Psalm 22, verse one, and I read the first verse, and then you read the second verse, and so on, all the way down to verse 21, okay? Verse 21, okay? Um, the Bible says here, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why art thou far from helping me and from the words of my roaring? Oh, my God, I cry in the daytime, but thou answerest not and thou in, in the night season and are not silent. But thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. Our fathers trusted in thee, they trusted and thou didst deliver them, thou cried unto thee and were delivered, they, they trusted in thee and were not confounded. But I am a worm, and no man a reproach of them, and despise of the people. All that they see me laugh me to scorn, they shoot out the lip, they shake the head. He that trusts in the Lord, that he would deliver him, let him deliver him, saying that he delighted him. But thou art he that took me from the womb, and that thou didst make me hope, and I was upon my mother's breast. I was cast upon thee from the womb. Thou art my art, my God, from my mother's belly. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, for there is none to help. Many bullets can pass me, me, and strong bull the Bashan has beset me round about. They gape upon me with their mouths as ravening, raven and roaring lions. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint, and my heart is like wax. My strength is dried up like a poxter and my tongue cleaveth to my jaws and thou hast brought me into the dust of death for the dogs have compassed me the assembly of the wicked have enclosed me they pierce my hands and my feet and I may tell all my bones they, I may tell all my bones they look and stare upon me they part my garments among me and cast lots upon my vestures but be not thou far from me O Lord of my strength haste to help me Deliver my soul from the sword of my darling and the power of the dial. Save me from the lions, for thou hast heard the horns, unicorn. Amen. Look at verse uh, 22. I will declare thy name unto my brethren in the midst of the congregation. I will praise thee. Okay. Look at verse 23. Ye that fear the Lord, praise him, all you seed of Jacob. Glorify him and fear him, all you seed of Israel. So we'll stop right there. That's the verse we want to emphasize right there, verse 23, um, about glorifying him. Let's pray if we will, and then we'll have joy sing, and then I will get into the message there. And we'll be, text verse will be taken from verse 23 of Psalm 22. Let's pray. Father, help us now, Lord. We love you. Thank you, dear Jesus. May you speak to our hearts tonight through the word of God. Pray you help us in a great way, and we give you glory, what you're going to do in Christ's name. Amen. Amen.
empty. You won't find me there anymore. And beyond that too is life everlasting and hope forevermore. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Great singing. Enjoy that. Amen. All right. Look at your Bible there tonight, if you will. Let's pray. Father, we need you tonight, Lord. Jesus, bless our short time we have here tonight together. I pray you bless the preaching of your word. Holy Spirit, I pray you give me wisdom, Lord, as I try to convey this message to your people, Lord, in this short time we have. I pray you speak to us. Holy Spirit, you use me, Lord, as a conduit that you speak through me, Lord, and give me the wisdom, Lord, to bring forth your word. Bless us tonight. Holy Spirit, please take control. Don't want to be preaching nothing in the flesh, but need you to take control. In Christ's name, please take control. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so anyway, uh, the Bible says in Psalms in 22 and verse 23, I want to just emphasize that verse right there. We're commanded tonight, we're commanded to give glory to God, amen? We're commanded to glorify God. Verse 23 says here, ye that fear the Lord... Ye that you, in other words, fear the Lord, praise him. All ye seed of Jacob, okay, glorify him and fear him, all ye seed of Israel. Amen. So he's talking to God's people. You see here, first of all, this is God's people here, those who belong to Jesus. Amen. Uh, all the seed of Jacob, he says here, all the seed of Israel. Uh, we ought to be glorifying. We don't, you know. Every child of God need to give, you know, glorify God. It's commanded of us to glorify God, okay? As Christians, to glorify him, to honor him, to lift him up, give, to give the glory that is due unto his name. You know, why should we glorify God? Think about it. God saved us out of hell. Somebody say amen. Am I right? He saved us out of hell. God gave us uh, eternal life. God um, has, has washed us from our sins. And, uh, do we, and we don't expect the, the wicked to give no glory to God. Amen. So God, you know, we Christians are the least give glory to God. I mean, the wicked is not going to do it. But the child of God ought to glorify God. Amen? Amen. But uh, God's people should give him the glory. Uh, turning your Bible there uh, in Isaiah in chapter 42. Okay, Isaiah chapter 42 and uh, verse 12. Okay, if you will. Turn your Bible there. We're going to look at a few verses here tonight. And uh, we're talking about the glorifying, talking about glorifying God. Okay? Glorifying God, Isaiah in chapter 42, okay, and, and look there with me in your Bible there, if you will, tonight. And uh, the Bible says here in Isaiah 42 and verse 12, it says here, uh, let them what? Give glory unto the what? Lord, and declare his praise in the island. Let them, let them give glory unto the Lord. Amen. We ought to be giving glory to him. Praising him and thanking him. Amen. You know, uh, uh, we're commanded to do that. Everybody ought to give glory, praise to God. Amen. Some don't do it. They don't even thank God for anything. They don't even thank God for the food they eat. Somebody say amen. Some of just they just, just plow into the food. They don't even thank God for the food. They don't even thank God for their mom and dad. Somebody say amen. They don't even thank God for anything. You ought to, you ought to praise him every day. Somebody say amen. You ought to give glory to him every, every time you get an opportunity. Somebody say amen. God's been good to you. He's been good to all of us. Amen. Saved us out of hell. We all, hey, we could be going to hell tonight. All right. But Jesus has saved us and he's given us eternal life and we're commanded to give glory to God. Amen. You know, why did I bring that up there tonight? Because we got a, we, we got a, we got a generation today that are glorifying themselves. They are thinking about nobody but themselves. You know, you look at the basketball player. You look at the athletes today. Uh, they want all the glory. You know, and, 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 no, and nobody's praising God. Somebody say amen. The one that give them the air to breathe. The one that give them feet to walk with. Somebody say amen. The one that give them legs to walk with. The one that give them hands and, 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 and give them, give them a, a body to, uh, and, and let, them, let them live. They don't thank God. It, it bothers me when I see um, these 
athletes or entertainers or uh, it bothers me when I see them that they this, they don't they want all the glory. And we're going to talk about that a little bit in in in, in the very end of this sermon here. It, it bothers me because when you when you have that going on, that's pride. Somebody say, man. That's what you call pride. They don't thank God for nothing. Somebody say man. They don't give God the glory for anything. But you know. They don't even give him the morning to thank him. For letting him live. But we ought to give glory to God. How do we give glory to God tonight? You know we're going to talk about several things in the night. How do we give glory to him? Several things here. I want to, I want to hit on here tonight. About how do we give glory to the, to the Lord. Okay. And I'm going to hit on about a few points here. And, uh, and one way is what we need to rely on his promises. Okay. Rely on his promises of God. Rely on the promises of God. Somebody say amen. Rely. What do I mean, what do I mean by re, when I read the word rely? The word rely, I mean dependent on his promises. Dependent on his promises. I'm trusting in his promises. Okay. In the Bible, there are, uh, there are a thousand upon thousand promises in the Bible. Somebody say amen. And we ought to learn. That's why some of you all don't know how to give glory to God because you're not relying on His promises. You're not you're not trusting His promises that He that He given you. There are promises in this Bible, and it's real. Somebody say, "Man," and they're and they're to you. The promises are to you, specifically to you. And and he and he and he, he said, "I want you to trust me." Somebody say, "Man." Amen. So I want you to turn your Bible in Romans chapter four. Romans chapter four in, in, in verse twenty here. And we'll look here about relying on the promises of God. Amen. Relying on the promises of him. There are promises in this Bible that, that are that they're to you. And, and you got to learn how to trust in his promises every day. Young people, you can't trust in, the, in this world. It'll cause you to commit suicide. Somebody say amen. amen. So many people commit suicide today. Yeah. They don't want to live. Why? Because they, 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 the missing link is God. Somebody say man. You are made to be connected with God. And they're going to bring depression in your life. And discouragement in your life. Because you're not connected with him like you're supposed to. Somebody say man. Now I have depression to come my way every night. It comes my way. It comes my way. It visits everybody in this room. It visits everybody in this room. It comes my way. But. What keeps me going is keeping my mind in the book and rely on the promises of the God and, and talking to God in prayer. It takes the discouragement away. Somebody say, man. Romans chapter 4 and verse 20. He staggered not at the what? Promise of God. Through what? Unbelief. But was strong in what? In faith. Giving glory to what? Giving glory to God. He didn't stagger at the, at the, at the promises of God. He didn't stagger at, at, at God's word. Uh, but he believed uh, God's promises. Therefore, and he glorified God. Uh, he believed God's promises in the Bible. Uh, uh, and uh, and, the, and you, uh, young people need to believe the promises of God. Old people need to believe the promises of God. Don't stagger at the promises of God. But have faith in him. Amen. See, that's what's going to help your faith. Is relying on those promises, and when you don't rely on those promises, it's gonna your faith. You know, we we all gonna get weak in faith, amen. And cause us to do stupid things we shouldn't do. Smile, say, amen. But we don't want to. Don't be stuck. Don't be of unbelief. See, that's when it's so important that you read the Bible and see how God delivered His people out of certain things and how the problems and how God blessed them. How God, they're, they're, these people in the Bible are humans just like we are human. And they lived like we lived at one time. And they've been through the things that we they've been through things that we that we're going through right now. But they overcame through their faith. They overcame by trusting in the promises of God. And God gave them the victory. And they gave, and by them doing that, by being strong in faith and not staggered at the promise of God through unbelief. It gave God, gave God the glory. Amen. It gave God glory. Amen. And that's what we want. God wants glory. Amen. From us. He wants you to give him the glory. And by you believing his word. And you reading. And you living it. And you having faith in God. It lifts him up. It glorifies God. Among the heathen. Somebody say man. They, they, they say. I need, to get, I need to know that God. You, 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 that, you, that you talk about. Somebody say man. I need to know him. 
Boy, look how he's blessing you. Look how you, you went to that situation. You still going? Yeah. Because you trust and they say, I need to get to know that God that you believe in. Somebody say amen. amen. Number two. We give glory to God by what? Praising him. We'll give God the glory by praising him. Turn to Psalms chapter 50 and verse 23. Psalms chapter 50. We give glory to him by praising him. Do you praise him? Do you, do you have a place and a time and that, you know, I, sometimes I say, Lord, I want to thank you and praise you for your goodness, your mercy, your love, and praise you for salvation, praise you for my wife, praise you for my kids, praise you for a, a place to stay, praise you for food and material, praise you. I mean, just, Lord, I want to just praise you and thank you for being so good to me. I could have been dead and could have been in hell. Somebody say amen. amen. I want to praise you for giving me health and strength. Give me ability to eat the food. Somebody say amen. amen. Praise you to live in the United States of America. I believe the greatest country in the world, but we're getting, we're getting very wicked today. Somebody say amen. But praise you to live in America. Praise you for my mom still in the My mom's still living. My mom could be gone. God been good. My mom's still living. Praise for my mother-in-law. Praise for my, pray, you know, praising him. Some of you don't praise God for nothing. You don't even think about it. He's not, in, he's not even in your thoughts. And that's bad. Psalm chapter 50 and verse 23. The Bible says here in Psalm 50 verse 23. Whoso, pra whoso offer praises, praise what? Glorify what? Me. God said you offer praise, you glorify me. You glorify when you offer when you offer praise, you glorify him. And he loved to be glorified. I love to one day just walk in the room one day and uh, turn this back. I just love to walk in and, and, and one of my kids and just walk in and see, hear you praising God. But I hear you praising these basketball players. I hear you praising these football players. Oh, what a touchdown. Oh, what a, oh, what, what a shot. These are human beings. These are humans. Now, I like a ball game. But I'm not for the praise. I mean, I, I mean, I like going to a game or whatever. But, brother, I'm going to praise Jesus more than I praise some basketball player. Somebody say amen. He ain't died for me. Somebody say amen. I'm going to praise Jesus more than some football player. Somebody say amen. He didn't die for me. By the way, he better get saved himself. Or she better get saved. But I listen to some of y'all, you just praising humans. Boy, are you praising God that made the human. And that's not good. Somebody say amen. Man ain't done nothing for you. Somebody say amen. Man did not wake you up this morning. Uh, your favorite basketball player did not get you up. and You could have died in your sleep. Somebody say amen. Your favorite bass football player ain't done, had put no food on your table. Your favorite basketball player had not put no clothes on your back. Somebody say, man. He ain't done nothing for you. Now, I like that. Thank you, brother. I like, I like, I like watching the game, but I am not going to praise them athletes. Somebody say, man. Good to see you, brother. I am not going to praise some athlete. I'm going to praise the God that made the what? Athlete. Praise the God that made the football player. Praise the God that made the pastor. Somebody say that. The preacher. You know, someone get beside and start, start praising the preachers. Now, I thank God for a holy man of God. I thank God for a pastor. But, brother, we, listen, I, brother, we don't want to lift nobody up to no pedestal. Somebody say man. We about to lift the God up. Somebody say man. Jesus is the one we ought to be praising. Somebody say amen. Whoso offers praises to me, glorify me. That's what Jesus says. But yet, we'll go to the, wow, boy, I'd like to sign it. I want him to sign my shoes. Can you sign your name right there? But what has he done for you? Can you, put, can you sign my order? What has he done for you? What did he die for you? What blood he shed up for you on the cross? What salvation he given you? Did he keep you out of hell? Did she keep you out of hell? No, they can't keep you out of hell. They, they, are, sinners, they are sinners themselves that need to get saved themselves. Are they going to hell? Somebody say amen. 
Whoso offers praises, the Bible says, in chapter 50, verse 23, glorify me. Glorify me. Amen. I just wanted one day I want to walk in, the, in one of my room and watch my kids. I, I like to see them on their knees and say, Jesus, you're the greatest. There's none like you. There's none to be compared to you. Uh, me and my wife was in the we was in the uh, uh, praying on praying, we were praying Monday, I believe it was. And I just said, Lord, am I right, Silver Tree? I said, There's none like you. There's none can be compared to you. There's none before you. There's none after you. You're the greatest of all greatest, Jesus. You're the most awesome, powerful God. And I want to lift you up and praise you and thank you for being who you are. Somebody say amen. But see, you're not going to do that. That'll take the pride away. Somebody say amen. And some of you all got some problem with pride because you ain't talking to God and you ain't praising God. Somebody say amen. Pride. Go as both instruction in the heart and spirit and the mighty father. Pride will bring you down to the, to the dungeon. Somebody say amen. Pride will get you killed. Will get you killed. It'll take you out of here. And I pray to God to help me stay humble. Know how much money God blessed me to make. Not much, how much, how much kind of shoes I'm wearing. I, uh, brother, I mean, brother, we got to be careful that we don't get beside ourselves. Somebody say amen. When God start blessing you, don't be start going, let it go to your head, and you start walking around with a bunch of pride and with a chip on your shoulder like you're the gift to the earth. You are nothing but dirt and nothing but dust. And from the Bible said, from the dust that you were created from, from the dust you're going to return. I don't want to ever take no glory in this, in this flesh. I don't want to go around thinking I'm somebody when I ain't nothing. Somebody, I'm nobody without Jesus. Somebody say amen. I am absolutely zero without Jesus. And you are too. Look at the basketball players signing out these huge contracts. He said, boy, what a, all that money. Let me tell you something, brother. The Bible said, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? I don't care how much money contracts these guys sign. I don't care how much money they're making. Brother, you can't take the money to the grave. You can't take the cars to the grave. You can't take the houses to the grave. You can't take the clothes to the graves. You cannot take the shoes to the grave. And when you leave this world, naked you came into the world, and naked shall you return. That's right. You shall return. You might gain a lot in the, on this earth, but when you die, all that's going to matter is what you did for Jesus. What you did for Jesus. Amen? We ought to be giving glory to God, not to man. Let's move on. Do you praise him? Do you praise him for, uh, do you praise him for your salvation? Do you praise him for your health? Do you praise him for your strength? Do you praise him for your wife and your husband? Do you praise him for your church or for your family? We ought to all praise him and give glory to his name. Somebody say amen. We glorify God by confessing Christ to others. When you go out and tell others about Jesus, you glorify him. Why? Because when somebody gets saved, it, it, gives, it gives God glory. Somebody say amen. And so the Bible says here tonight in Philippians chapter 2, turn that with me there, if you will. Philippians chapter 2. Now, I want you looking at your Bible. I want no phones out. Somebody say amen. No phones out. I want you turning your Bible, not no, looking at no phones. Somebody say amen. I was, I was taking some kids home the other day, and they, and they started playing rap music while, uh, as I'm taking them home. And I said, uh, uh, turn the music out. Well, they kept playing this thing of rap music. They kept playing it. And I said, okay, well, we're just going to stop the van. And I went, in, I went back there in the back and said, hand those phones over to me. You'll get them when you get off this van. I mean, that's what the problem is. Some of you all, you're, this thing here is going to hurt you and mess your, mess your life up. And I'm telling you, you better stop listening to that bunch of garbage. I don't know what you guys are listening to, a bunch of rap. You better turn it off. Somebody say amen. Because they're messing your mind up. And you're listening to, the, listening to the, when you get in the car, that guy, that guy, turn around, say, man, uh, just, just drop me off right here. Let me out. Let me out. 
just take me out of the car. I don't want to hear it. I'm not going to mess my spirit up with a bunch of garbage. Come on, say amen. Not going to do it. Let me out for this stick of car turnover somewhere. Somebody say amen. God, pity you. Listen to that garbage music. Somebody say amen. What in God's thing wrong with uh, a Christian young boys and, uh, uh, boys and girls uh, listen to a bunch of garbage like that? Somebody say amen. Cussing in the music. What in God? That's when you're going to have, that's when some of your spirits are messed up because you listen to wrong music. Somebody say amen. That's why. Some of you guys can't even smile. Some of you looking like hard. Trying to be cool. Cool. Yeah, there's a lot of folks that are cool that's in hell. Somebody say amen. There's a lot of folks that, hey, they cool. How cool are they now since they're in hell? How cool are they since they, when they hit hell? Somebody say amen. They're not cool no more. Somebody say amen. There's not enough cool in the world to, to put the fire in hell out. There's not enough cooters in the cooters in the cooters in the world to put the fires of hell out. They wish they'd stop being cool now once they hit hell. Somebody say, man. I remember, man, I don't, I don't understand it. Why church, look, look at these rappers trying to be cool? Some of you are just walking around like you're the gift of the world. Brother, you better get right with God with that stuff. Somebody say, man. Sister, you know, I have to have that pride for me. You know, I have to be brother of Jesus, save me and change me. Somebody say, man. The Bible said in Philippians chapter 2, verse 11 here, it says tonight, and, they, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of what? God the Father. Our tongues ought to be confessing Jesus. And when we got a tongue confess Jesus, we give glory to who? God. We out so with it tomorrow night. We tell somebody about Jesus, somebody to get saved by the grace of God and get born again. Brother, it give glory to God. And if God get, God get the honor from that, God get praise from that. When somebody gets saved, when a young boy gets saved, when a young girl gets saved, and when an older man gets saved, when a dear lady gets saved, it give glory to God. Somebody say amen. We don't need no more cool dudes. Somebody say amen. We've got enough of those. Amen. We give glory to God when we suffer for Christ. When we suffer for Jesus, it glorifies Him when you keep going. When something bad happened in your life that you that that this, that that got you off the off the, off the track that you was on, and it gives glory to God because you keep on going on serving God. You don't quit. Turn your Bible, First Peter. First Peter in your Bible, there, if you will, there. And we're looking chapter 4, okay? 1 Peter chapter 4. Look at your Bible, if you will, here, and we're going to look here in um, verse 14 through 16. The Bible says here, 14 through 16, it says here, If you be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are what? Ye. So you dishonor for the name of Christ, you, are, you ought to be happy. Somebody say amen. For the, spirit of glory, for the spirit of glory and of God rests is what? Upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your, on your part, he is what? He's glorified. He's lifted up. He's glorified because you, 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 you standing for Jesus. Verse 15, but let none of you suffer as a murderer. The last thing we need some of you suffering is a murderer. Amen. Amen. I don't know what happened there. But let none of you suffer as a The last thing we need some of you young boys suffering as a murderer. Uh, or uh, not as a murderer, as a thief. Brother, you, have you noticed what's going on today about, you see a lot of this stuff that's going on, these young people that's going on, just shooting people and robbing people. I mean, just beating old ladies up, beat, snatching their purses, snatching their, brother, that's what comes from listening to a bunch of wicked devilish music, watching a bunch of stuff that shouldn't be watching on TV, corrupting their minds, brother, and watch playing video games, and they just think it's a game. Killing people today. They don't even, they don't even take, look at lives I didn't know I was just boring. Somebody sit up, sit up, sit up, sit up. I, sit, I didn't know I, I'm, just, I'm just boring. Sit up. Now, if, if bless God, if this is some basketball game, you got to be all into it. If this is some 
football game, you want me, you, hey, you be, you be at the edge of your seat. Hey, man, pass the popcorn. Hey, pass the drink. Let me tell you something. There's something more important that's in this world that you need is the word of God. Somebody say amen. Murderers, thieves, or evildoers, or it's a busy body, busy body in other men's matters. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify what? God on this behalf. God said glorify me on this behalf. Now I'm going to share one more last verse with you here tonight. And I want to tell you what, what happens to people that don't glorify God. And I want you to turn with me this last verse here. We're going to look at a man that did not give God the glory. And you know where I'm going. Turn to Acts chapter 12. This man's name was Herod. Herod was rich. Herod was wealthy. Herod had much money. But he didn't give God the glory. He didn't thank God where the money came from. He didn't thank God where the car came from. He didn't thank God for the shoes he got on. Somebody say amen. He didn't praise God for the, uh, he didn't praise God. He just, he just, hey, hey man, it's because of me. I'm the man. You know, you know my name? I'm the man. My name is Herod. And he gave no glory to God. And the Bible says here, what happened to Herod? The Bible said in verse 20, Acts chapter 12, verse 20, and Herod was highly displeased with them, a tyrant inside of them. But they came with one accord to him, and having made blast of the king of Chamber Chamberlain, their friend, desired peace, because their country was nourished by the king's country. And look at verse 21. And upon a set day, Herod arrayed himself with the royal party, put on his best clothes. Maybe put on his KDs. Maybe put on his KD sneakers. Maybe put on his cool hats. And maybe put on his, maybe, he, man, he was dressed to the T. Set day. He put, hey, 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 hey check these KDs out, man. Hey, $200 there. $300, $300, $300, $300, $300, $300, $300, $300, $300, $300, $300, $300, $300, $300, $300, $300, $300, $300, $300, $300, $300, $300, $300, $300, $300, $300, $300, $300, $300, $300, $300, $300, $300
God sent the angel and killed him immediately. Why? Because he gave not what? God the what? He did not give God glory. He did not give God glory. And I'm telling you, young people, old people too, you better stop walking around here with pride and thinking you're the gift of this earth and you don't give God no glory. God will take you out of here. Somebody say amen. He'll take you out of here. And I'm telling you, you better stop walking around trying to be cool and be prideful. Somebody say amen. And say, Jesus, it's because of you. Jesus is what I, I won't be alive with him you. Jesus, I thank you for my mom and my dad. Jesus, thank you for letting me live another day. Somebody say amen. We are losing young people every day. Go up to Chicago. They're dying every day. Every week, the numbers of, and not no 10 and 15, but I'm talking about last couple weeks, it was 70 in one day. 70 in one day. Dead. Because they're not giving God the glory. And they're living for the devil. You understand me? You better learn to glorify him. And thank him. Amen? We don't want to be another Herod. I don't want to be another Herod. And that's when I believe sometimes God removes some of these basketball players, these people that we just lift up sometimes. We lift up. I never forget the basketball player, Lynn Bias. I never forget that he died years ago. Uh, they, he, he, this guy was about, I think, was better than Michael Jordan. And I remember the people just praising him. He got number one draft pick for the Boston Celtics. And boy, he was, man, this guy, was, he would not lift him. God. He, uh, and brother, he died, took some drugs. Before the season even started, dropped dead. Cocaine, cocaine overdose, killed him. Never played one game in the NBA. I mean, this guy was putting, I mean, some of you all who sent me, the older guy that seen Lynn Byers play. That guy was putting up 50, I mean, he, what Jordan did in college didn't even compare to what Lynn Byers did. Didn't come close to it. I'm serious. Look it up. This guy was good. Dropped dead. And everybody was talking about, it was all over the news in, in, in America. All in the news in America. All in the news. When it signed a huge country with the Boston Celtics. I mean, it was all over the news. All over the news in America. I mean, it, 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 brother, just, just a morning. I'm telling you, I'm serious. Gone. I'm telling you, people, young people, older people, we better give God the glory. Somebody say amen. You better give God the glory. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we thank you, Lord, tonight for the word of God tonight, Lord Jesus. We thank you for speaking to our hearts, Lord. I pray that this message, Lord, will hit home, Lord, that we got to glorify God. Help us, Lord, to lift you up. Help us not to be another Herod, Lord, that's soaking up the praises of man. Oh, and not, not correct the man when they say call him a God. But, Lord, he soaked it in and said, that's, who you, that's right, you're absolutely right, I am a God. Lord, I pray you please help us tonight, Lord, to love you, help us to bow down and worship you and praise you, Jesus, and give thanks and glory to your holy, precious, and wonderful name, because there's none like you, Jesus. There's none that can be compared to you, Jesus. And there's none before you, Jesus, or after you, Lord. you everything that we need, and we praise your holy name. So, God, I pray you help us tonight, and we'll thank you for it all. With your head bowed and eyes closed, I'm going to give you an opportunity to come forth and pray tonight. Some of you all might not uh, give God the glory like you should. How many of you know you're saved? Know you're going to have raised. How many of you have been saved? Know you're going to have been born again. How many of you have been saved? Amen. All right. Amen. Praise the Lord. Wonderful. Now.